Hi, good day. Welcome. Jabari here. And today we're going to handle remote control, remote access. This is probably going to be the easiest video we do for this entire series. So let's get started. So remote access is important because if you have your survey in a room, of course, not air, you don't want to have high traffic coming in and out of that room. You don't even have to have your server on site. What you do need is the IP address and remote access turned on. So let's get started. So we're going to select server manager and we're going to configure remote desktop. And you're going to go allow computers running any version of remote desktop less secure. I'm going to click apply and then OK. Now, what you're going to want to, to do is log on to a client. And once you're logged into your client computer, you see remote desktop has been enabled on your server. You go to start and you search for remote desktop connection. You select it. And of course, you enter the IP address of your server and you select connect. Enter the information. you have been connected as you can see on the server side screen we've been logged out and we have so full control over the server machine on our windows vista client it is simply allowing us to use all the features of the server so we can select start on the server here and we see we have full control of our server all our functions, all the functionality still available. Now you can minimize this window and still work on your Windows Vista client or whatever client machine you've used to remotely connect to the server. So thank you very much. Like I said, short and easy. See you guys soon.